Cool. Okay. Second time's a charm. Uh, hi, hello, how are you? Welcome back, I guess. We're uh, trying again. Hopefully this works. Uh, we're going to be playing some Legends Arceus. Just came out today. So very excited to jump in. Been waiting for a Pokemon game like this for a long time. We're here to have some fun. I'm very excited for this game. So let's go. Let's just start. I'm excited to see the story of this game, mostly. Uh, obviously, I've been keeping up with trailers and things. Um, tried to avoid as many leaks as I could, but hey, you do what you can, you know? So I know a little bit, but there's a lot that I don't know, so very excited. This is giving me big uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon vibes to start with. Welcome to my realm, located beyond both time and space. It is well that thou art here. <laughs> Bit fancy on the, the wording here, Arceus. I am that which humans call Arceus. Now, I wish to know thine appearance. I think we'll go with the, the blonde young gentleman down here. What is thy name? I mean, well, are we gonna stuff around? No, we're here to get shit done. Liam. Straight up. Yes. Imagine if I spelled that wrong. Liam. Soon thou shalt find thyself in a world strange to thee. A world inhabited by wondrous creatures that humans call Pokemon. Liam. Seek out all Pokemon, and thou shalt find me once more. Very interesting start. Very keen to see uh, how this plays out, I guess. This bit's odd. <laughs> Phone. So we're just like a regular human kid. And we get sent to a Pokemon world? Does that confirm, kind of, that Pokemon is like an alternate universe? Or is this time travel? I'm very confused. But intrigued. Look at the baggy tea. <laughs> Interesting, okay. But cool. Pokemon Legends Arceus. Let's go. Cool little loading spot down the corner. Not bad. Hey, wake up. Alright, alright, I'm here, Jesus. Oh, do wake up, won't you? It's always our friend, yeah? No. Are you alive, my boy? It's the professor. Now, from what I've heard from people who have already played this game, is that it looks better in the actual game than it did in the trailers and I'm tending to agree so far okay surely we came from that thing up in the corner right surely you gave me quite the shock falling from the sky like that yeah that would be fair but thank goodness you seem unharmed we're <laughs> straight up just in future clothes who are you where am I both valid questions 
I'd like to ask you the same. I mean, you fell out of the sky. You know that, right? Come on. Who in the world does that? Got some thongs on? Sandals? I must say, your clothing is unusual. You wouldn't happen to have an acquaintance in these parts, would you? I doubt it. I absolutely doubt it. I see. You uh, seem to be in a bit of a pickle. Might I offer some directions? Do you have somewhere around here you could stay? I... No, of course not. Hmm. So you don't know anyone here, and you don't even know where to spend the night. Well, this is a proper pickle indeed. Are you quite sure you'll be able to survive? I... Somehow, I guess. What an interesting start. But I'm here for it. I like it. I see. Well, no gentleman would abandon a person in such need. Oh, here they come. Crew, crew, foom, plish, plash. Oh my, I'd completely forgotten. I just caught up to these three runaway Pokemon when you tumbled out of the sky and distracted me. It's almost as if they knew you'd appear here. Ah, but do you even know what a Pokemon is? Uh, of course, of course I do. Right, yes, of course. My, that's a relief. Though you fell from the sky, it seems we have some common ground, eh? So I don't think my character actually does know what Pokemon are, but I obviously do. Yes, well, these three Pokemon belong to me. Mysterious creatures, they are. Oh yes, and what might your name be? Liam. Oh, so you're called Liam. Great name. I imagine it must have some lovely meaning. You know, I did know what the meaning was one time, but I have forgotten it over the years. Oh, but I do apologise, I haven't even introduced myself. Yeah, that was literally the first question I asked. My name is Laventon. Something of a... Pokemon professor. That is to say, I'm a scholar seeking to deepen our understanding of Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon such as these... Oh my gosh. They have just run off. Oh, blast and bother. My darling Pokemon, why must you run from me again? I'm terribly sorry, but... You think you can help me round them up? These legs are getting old, and you seem young and spry. Alright, off he goes. Alright, so I'm assuming that that thing is like a mission marker, yeah? Let's just move around a little bit, and let's get a little bit of a feel for, you know, how the game feels, looks, plays, that sort of thing. How far into the water can we go? Not at all. Okay. That's a bit of a shame. Okay, we splash a little. Can't really climb the rocks. No. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. What if I get a sprint? Nope. No better. Okay. Crouching. Looks like we can only really crouch at the moment. Maybe there will be... Uh, I guess a tutorial on how to move and stuff. Little boat. Cool. Alright, well let's head to the marker then. Prelude Beach. <laughs> oh, that's quite funny. Prelude is, if you didn't know, like the word for prior to story. Little shack. Alright. Let's do a little bit of a sprint, hey? <gasps> oh no, that's the phone. Okay, so maybe that marker won't always be there. It's a glowing beeping object, object over there. Investigate and talk. Hello? You found something that resembles a phone. It's probably your phone, but it's changed shape. You feel a strange power emanating from it. Ah, a message. I bestow upon thee 
this Arc Phone and thy mission, seek out all Pokemon. Okay, so we're on a mission from God, basically. Blues Brothers. I don't know if anyone will, will get that reference watching this, but we're on a mission from God. Okay. You look a bit cross-eyed there, sir. Ah, oh, alas, yet another miss. Ah, oh, I'm glad you've come to my rescue, my new friend from the sky. Freak. I tried catching my little runaways by tossing some Pokeballs their way, but I'm not the best throw. Um, I never really learnt to throw a ball. I'd love to give you a go at it, but perhaps I should tell you about these three first. Now that one is Rowlet. Rowlet can photosynthesize like a plant, and apparently it battles using its sharp feathers. Man, that one over there is Cyndaquil. The fire burning on Cyndaquil's back will flare up whenever it is surprised or irate. Boom! The Pokemon near the pond is Oshawott. Oshawott naps while floating on the water and it can battle using the shell-like object on its belly. Oh my, I nearly forgot to cover the most crucial thing. Uh, you know, how to actually catch them. Take this. Here you are, my boy. Pokeballs. Throw these at Pokemon to catch them. 50. How the hell do you think we're going to carry 50 of these things, sir? Ah, but that won't do for an explanation, will it? I do apologise. Let me be more thorough. Now, I've mentioned already that Pokemon are strange, marvellous creatures, yes? Now, what's so strange about them, you ask? Well, each and every Pokemon is able to shrink itself down to minuscule size. And that's where Pokeballs come in. Pokeballs are a recent invention, you see. Throw one of them at a Pokemon and... Why, well, the Pokemon will shrink down and fit inside the bowl, comfy as can be. And with that, you've caught a Pokemon. Oh, I'm going low battery. Let's just... Tough it out, I reckon. I'd be awfully grateful if you could catch my three runaways. Now, the proper technique is to take aim at the Pokemon and let the ball fly. It's quite simple. Though far be it from me to say so, I suppose, given my own dire lack of skill at throwing, but do your best. Alright, hold down the ZR button, that's this one, to ready your Pokeball and take aim. You can keep moving around as you do. So use the right stick to adjust your angle and aim carefully at your target Pokemon. Release the ZR button to throw the Pokeball. Okay, so we hold it and then release it. If you've readied a Pokeball but do not want to throw it, press the B button to cancel the throw. That's important to remember. Okay, so I'm assuming that... Well, are we going to catch all three of these guys? Or whichever one we catch is going to be the one that we pick? I think, you know, that's the question here. I think I'm going to go with Oshawa, right? Originally I was going to go with Cyndaquil, but I think typings wise, type matchups, can I pause? No. Like with the typing of Pokemon that I want to get, I think that what, I'm not going to give away any spoilers if you haven't seen the last evolutions yet, um, but there are some uh, new types that they get. So I'm going to try and base it on other Pokemon that I want in the game, what types they are, so I don't double up too much, yeah? Yeah, so I, I think that I want to get some other Pokemon that are going to be of similar type to what Cyndaquil evolves into. So, look, I think we're going to have to catch all three, but let's, let's start with Oshawott, yeah? So, ZR, hold to aim, and then release to throw. Let 
Look at this guy, hey? Catching our first Pokemon. Jolly useful skill to have around here. Only two of them left. No, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty brave, I will admit. I'm very... Very brave indeed. Oh, here he is. Oh, no. Yeah, so I don't think that would work on other wild Pokemon. I can hardly believe it, Liam. This is nuts. You know, many people fear to even approach Pokemon. Never mind catch them. When you're just here, like, running straight over, giving them a cuddle. Jesus. Alright, last one. We will rowl it. Don't like the blur that comes on the screen. See, like, how the sort of image kind of shakes? Just in a line or so? Don't like that. But the, the graphics do seem better than, than in the videos, I will admit. Trailers. Oh no. Ah yes, I'm afraid that can happen. Pokeballs are hardly 100% foolproof. Give it another go, old boy. I'm literally the, I'm literally like way younger than you, dude. Alright, let's, let's do a little bit of a sneak job, yeah? Let's sneak over here. Is he looking straight at us? He knows we're here, yeah. Bonk. See, I was all sneaky like that time, and we were successful. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, what a relief to have them all back. You see, the three Pokemon you caught have only just arrived at the village to help with our research. They won't yet listen to anyone. And as I mentioned, they ran away. Almost as if they knew that you'd be here. But I must say, Liam, I was taken back by how well you used Pokeballs. Yeah, I'm a good catch. I played a lot of cricket, you know. There's a reason you appeared here and now. There's, there's a lot of... Uh, Wink, wink, nudge, nudge stuff in this. Oh, yeah, I have a phone. Seek out all Pokemon. An Arc phone. What an odd device. Could it be guiding you somehow? I don't know. Just a hunch. Something I'd like to share with you. See, I have a dream to compile this region's first complete record of its Pokemon. We in the field call such a catalogue a Pokedex. Yes, a proper, po proper, po proper Pokedex is a wonderful work of research containing <coughs> detailed records of all the Pokemon to be found in a region. But, in order to properly document Pokemon, one must of course catch them. And therein lies the rub, I'm afraid. Pokeballs have only just been invented and not many have mastered the skill of using them. Enter you, a person with a clear talent for catching Pokemon. Your goal is to seek out every Pokemon, and mine is to have all those Pokemon caught. <sighs> I think this calls for some teamwork, don't you agree? Come now, what do you say? Shall we help one another out, my boy? Well, uh... <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah, you've convinced me, sir. Then whoever, and from wherever, wherever you may be, I welcome you. Time to get on the Pokedex. Let's go, boys. Alright, back to the village. Oh, yeah, and then we'll give you some clothes and food and stuff, I suppose, yeah. <laughs> ah, lovely little tutorial. Alright, so that's definitely where we came from. Here we go. Jubilife Village. Thank you for your tireless work keeping us safe, my good guardsman. This young man was of great assistance to me assistance to me and my Pokemon, so I hope you'll forgive my bringing him into the village for a bit. Nah, you're right, man. You can come in. Thanks, bros. Appreciate it. Jeez, we look very worried.
Rather menacing having that storm up in the background. So I wonder how much more of this little village there is to explore from what they've shown us already. It's come a long way thanks to the fine people of the Galaxy Expedition Team. Can I just walk off? Alright, fine. Alright, Canala Avenue is, is what it's called. It's quite the outfit right there. New recruit from the Survey Corps maybe? Never seen that child here before. These people are curious. I understand you must be more than a tad curious about the village, but yeah, I am following you, dude. I didn't even stop. Now, that impressive building up ahead is the headquarters. I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Yeah, well, I'm not talking to you, am I? Oh, oh botheration. I'd almost forgotten. I need to report that we recovered those Pokemon. Might I ask you to wait for me at the canteen? Oh, yeah. Do you have a couple of bucks? It's just past the bridge here, then to the left. The Wallflower. Sorry, I'm getting a call. Your arc phone is beeping. Somehow it seems to show you where you need to go next. Oh, cool. Use the minus button to view the map on your arc phone. You can consult the map for guidance. Also see the guidance markers when you're out exploring or running around the village. If you're not sure where to go next, stop and look around in all directions to try to spot one of these markers, then head for it. Head to the wallflower, which serves as the village canteen. Alright, now I can run around a little bit. So we got blue, uh, blue on one side and sort of a reddish pink. It's a bit of a bluish purple, isn't it? Rather than blue. So it looks almost like already pearl and diamond, doesn't it? And then there's green up there. I don't know if that really could be platinum, but I don't know. I got... Is that pink and then red further up? Yeah, it is a bit darker over there. Okay. Maybe I'm just overthinking it too much. What is this here, though? Ichika. If we want to guard the village properly, we'll need to partner up with Pokemon. Well, lucky for you, I know how to do that. Let's have a look around, yeah? Little, uh, farming stead. Looks like this area will probably expand. Yeah, the farm. This will probably expand, you would imagine. Got some water down there that runs through. Nice, 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 nice. Um, and then what's back up here? Is this like a training ground? Like a battleground? Yes, it would appear so. Training grounds, Pachirisu versus Starly. Ren. Our human weapons are no match against the fangs and claws of Pokemon. Right you are, my friend. Mickey. Eat potato mochi at the wallflower. Potato decks. So it seems people aren't maybe all that keen on uh, Galaxy Expedition Group. Okay, a little bit more of a look around. Okay, so it looks like my stamina just ran out from sprinting too much, did it? Yeah, so I can't you can't sprint for super long. So that might change. So I can press the arc phone. Let's take a look at the map. Okay, so there's a gate up there. Why is that the front gate? Why is why is this not the front gate? In an unfamiliar land. Galaxy Hall? Alright, we'll go up and around here. Pastures, clothier, hairdresser, general store, wallflower, craft works, photography studio. Charm Lady Lucille. Okay, so we'll head up to this front gate and then maybe we'll head back in. Oh, no, I don't want to set a marker. I apologise. So these pastures replace. PC boxes, is my understanding. Little uh, spots for your Pokemon to come and visit. It's, uh, I think that's really cool, actually. Okay, so yeah, there's a big gate over here. Hi guys, thanks for letting me in. Floaro? Floro? 
Main Street. Okay, so the building's still in construction somewhat. Interesting. Excuse me, sir, I've been told to come here. Oh, yes. Hmm. Well now, aren't you awfully suspicious? Wallflowers for Team Galaxy folk only. We don't have seats for outsiders. Move along. That's a bit angry, sir. Just a young child. Man, look how sad I am. Who are you? I've literally never seen anyone dressed as ridiculous as you. What if you were attacked? You'd be mince meat in those flimsy clothes. Wow, okay, we'd be pulverized to death because of the clothes we wear. It's a bit much. If the guard let you through, you must have ties with somebody in the village. Oh yeah, I know the professor bloke guy. Yes, that one. They do run away, do they? Makes you a bit worried. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. I suppose I'm hardly one to talk. I've had some trouble myself. She's out here. Not calling us. She's calling us a spade. A spa I don't know. You were hit by thunder. Oh, thunder shock. Sorry. I got too ahead of myself. <laughs> Had to take to my bed. Yeah, I don't know. Thunder shock. That would have hurt, though, unfortunately. It's just as Akari says. I'm a clumsy sort of fellow, to put it mildly. Oh! <gasps> Jeez. People love opening their mouths in this. Ah, yes. I have agreed to help with the Pokedex. Oh, she is not happy. Yeah, it would be right. I'll allow it. <laughs> Captain Silene. Oh, look at the strut. Assuming the individual can contribute to the Survey Corps, that is. I am the Captain of the Galaxy Team Survey Corps. You may call me Silene. Professor Lavington has told me how you helped secure his Pokemon when they slipped his control. Now it seems he would like us to feed and house you in exchange for your ongoing labour. Hmm. You look to be 15 or so. Quite old enough to work for your keep. But we can't simply take on a stranger who wanders in among us without any idea of their skills or origins. Tomorrow we shall see if you can prove yourself worthy. Oh! A most reasonable decision, Captain. Now, would you care to join us for a meal? I'm sure you've got plenty of questions for our visitor. Ah, oh, that's quite alright. I prefer to eat alone, so I might appreciate my meals without distraction. I'm trying to keep tight face, you know. Aloof as always, as I see. Well, no matter. The rest of us can share a meal and some pleasant conversation. Benny, old chum. Oh, some potato mok moki? I don't know. I'm not Japanese, so I don't know these things. Never fails to please. Wow, that's rude. Why would his place only be... There's a whole village here, and he just feeds the galaxy people? I don't like the sounds of that. Yes, where did we meet? Ah, well, you know, the great hole in the sky above the giant mountain with the storm and stuff? Yeah. We call the space-time rift. Well, this... friend... Uh, yeah, fell out of it. You can't be serious. Ah, uh, yeah, I am. Come now, I am a scientist. My job is to observe and explain any and all phenomena. Concern myself only with facts. I already know there are many Pokemon here in the Hisui region. That there are. In the grass, forests, water, wherever they like. Our job is to research them. Find out what creatures they are. Well, we know this much. Pokemon are terrifying. It's all been impossible to know what kinds of powers they might possess or what sorts of wondrous things they can do. That's where Liam will come in. He'll be our... Guinea pig, I suppose. If he gets damaged, like, who cares? No one knows him. 
If he dies, it's whatever, you know? He did catch three Pokemon really quickly, so, you know, that's pretty good. I've never seen anyone do that before. Three? No, that's true. They weren't, they weren't attacking. It was the friendly starter boys. Benny, can you fuck off, dude? The captain just ordered 10 whole portions of potato mochi, you know. The slow progress on that Pokedex of yours clearly has her on edge. What do you mean? Because you ordered, like, 10 bits of food? Chill, dude. They stress eat, do they? That's not healthy at all. If you make it into the Galaxy team, you'll never have to worry about a meal again. So the people in the Galaxy team do have to worry about meals? I don't like the, the hierarchy of this place. Yum, yum, yum. Ah. Well, we look red. It was quite delicious. Yes, the food was lovely, but more importantly, you do remember that Liam has a trial to pass. To join the Survey Corps, don't you? Professor. Not to worry. Liam's incredible. Let's hope it is not misplaced. Liam, was it? For tonight, at least. We'll provide you with a place to sleep. We may use our quarters there. That one in particular, yes. But if you fail to pass the trial we put to you tomorrow, you must move on. You'll be expelled from the village to meet your fate and perhaps your death in the wilds. Yikes, man. Some 15-year-old kid comes in and they're like, yeah, yeah, we'll test you. Like, really hard, but if you fail the really hard test, uh, die. Somewhat like Hisui in that they're both quite harsh. Now, now, she simply puts a stern front to help keep us all safe. At any rate, I think it's time we turned in for the night, eh? Hey? It's a good thing one can't fall out of the futons we sleep in here. I imagine our new friend is not enough falling for one day. Uh, cause, you know, like, you, you fell out of the sky. Oh. <laughs> anyway, good night. He's got jokes, that man. Yes, good night. She's kind of cute, though, Akari. A rift in the sky. People falling from it. The world is full of mystery. Head to the Survey Corps quarters, you've been assigned. Okay, time for bed. Time for bed. Let's go. Sleepy, sleepy. Ah, we have a trunk. And some lodgings. This is a rather big place, actually. Investigate. A nice fire in the sunken hearth could help keep the entire room heated. Ah, I thought that was for, co for cooking, but... Sure, yeah. It's a jug used to store drinking water. as a lid on top to keep debris from falling in. Lots and lots of items. Yes. Lots of items indeed. It's a dresser. Very solid construction, where extra clothes can be kept. Ah, bit of a zoom in action. Survey tips contain all sorts of useful information. To read them, simply press the up button to open the menu, then go to the help screen. Handy tips for team members. Don't wish your toilets to be forgotten. Diligent record keeping will save you from such a fate. Saving your progress, press the up button. Scroll with the uh, uh, ZL, auto save function. For now, we'll have autosave, but I think we'll, we might turn that off. Alright, time for bed. Rest until tomorrow morning. Sure thing. Oh, this is going to launch an absolute attack.
Now, I believe that's where Cleavor is. Cleavor just got hit by some shit. That big tree seemed like that's where it was. Good morning, Liam. Are you up? Quite some lightning last night, wasn't it? Today's the day of your trial, so uh, let's give it our all, I guess. Go to the Galaxy Team Headquarters to hear about your trial. Sure. Leave. What lovely weather we've got. I hope you had a nice sleep. Even if this land is strange and new to you. Let's get to Headquarters. Captain Silene is waiting. Yes. Sure thing. Absolutely must do. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Hello, 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 I'm coming, 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 coming. Enter. This is going to be a bit of an extended tutorial, I, I assume. Survey Corps officers are here on the first floor. Don't give up! Keep those eyes open. The wild Pokemon, they... They were everywhere. Attacking from all sides. I sent out my partner Pokemon, but... Against the whole pack? Outnumbered. This is what happens when you go so far afield, but the medical corps will put you to rights. You'll, you'll be fine. We'll get you sorted. A man's with a security corps. And even with his own partner, he took a beating from wild Pokemon. Without a partner of your own, you might find this trial... Pretty fucking hard, my friend. Yeah. Captain Celine. Liam is here. You may enter. It's a very open room. Abra, hello. Let's just get straight to it. If you wish to join the Galaxy Expedition team, prove yourself capable by going out into the Obsidian Fieldlands and catching three different species of Pokemon. Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. Catching three Pokemon from the start? No one's ever managed that. This guy's literally gonna die. My trial should be simple enough for him if the professor wasn't exaggerating things. Galaxy team does not have the means to provide for those who only take without giving. If you wish to stay, you must prove beyond any doubt that you'll be an asset to our cause. I will lend you one of our survey course satchels to carry whatever you may need in the field. There it is, the satchel, it's around your waist. Wear it, keep it, use it. That satchel doesn't exactly match your uh, mode of dress. Akari, I'll expect you to step in if anything goes awry. Galaxy Team's Entry Trial. Activate Guide. Guiding now active. Lovely. Press the Y button while consulting the map on your ARC phone. You can check the tasks. Missions and requests. Missions must be completed to progress, while requests are optional. Okay, cool. Oh, pardon, Liam. Please come with me for a moment. I'll only be a second. Now then, a jolly good morning to everyone. There's something the matter, Professor Lavenden. In order to complete our Pokedex and, well, <laughs> simply survive in this unforgiving land, they absolutely must pass the trial. And as a professor of Pokemon, I've got just the ticket to help accomplish that. Ah, it's one of our starters. Okay. Crew, foom, plish, plash. Go on, Liam. Pick whichever one you like. Little darlings are very dear to me, but it's plain to see they're rather curious about you. Can't we have them all? Alright. This is where it comes in, yeah? So trying to base it off types of other Pokemon that I'm going to catch... I'm at, there's one, 
probably only one water type I think that I would want. Grass types, I'm pretty keen on others. And same with fire type. Um, and then obviously they evolve into different uh, secondary typings, you could say. Um, I don't, I'm not going to spoil what they are if you haven't seen it. But I think I'm going to have a clash with probably Rowlet and Cyndaquil's line. So I'm going to go with... Uh, young pal Oshawott here. I really do like Typhlosion's design though, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but I'm gonna be picking Oshawott. Do you want Oshawott as your first partner? Yes. Oh, I should nickname this. I should nickname these guys, shouldn't I? And with that, one of the Pokemon you caught at Prelude Beach. <laughs> Prelude Beach, my god. Will now be yours. Good show. I've tucked Ashwat back inside Pokeball for you. So take it. It's yours. You received Oshawott. A word of advice, my boy. Pay close attention to which Pokeballs are empty and which ones contain a Pokemon when you're out in the field. <laughs> yeah, do that. That's important. Yeah, they're cheering on Oshawa. What a friend. Mm, I think they're jealous. Yeah. Why can't we just take all of them? I feel like that would make sense in this story. By the by, what species has Captain Silene charged you with catching? Ha! Huh. Smashing, darling. All three of those species can be found in the Obsidi Obsidian Fieldlands. Take some more of these Pokeballs. Another 20. So do we have like 70 now, or did we give back the other ones? Hold on. Cat wishes to enter. arrived here she is come on we're playing a new game yeah we are I guess you're finally ready you have to leave the village for your trial turn left after you uh, exit the headquarters then head to the gate and then uh, you'll be right there yeah that's how we go that's how we get there all right time to make our way up. We're going to come back and explore this place later on. Um, for now, let's just get the job done. Yeah? Alright, so we turn left and then we head out this way. Oh, I don't want to crouch. I want to run. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go. Hey, it's uh, Cynthia's descendant. Ancestor. Whatever. Oh, what a curious get-up you have there. I can already tell you're quite the character. I'm Volo, with the Ginkgo Guild. The go-to choice for any of your mercantile needs here in Hasui. I've heard talk about you. you fell from the sky, didn't you? Well, that's certainly a tale I'd like to hear. Oh, and you have a Pokemon. You're certainly full of interesting surprises. Investigating the odd and novel is key to any good merchant's success, so what do you say? How about you and I see how our Pokemon stand up to one another in battle? Uh, yeah. I like you better and better. What a delightful find. I've also heard about this trial you're to attempt. Let's have a quick battle to get your blood pumping before you head out, yeah? I hope you know, you'll lose if your Pokemon hates Pokemon's HP reaches zero. What a cool young man! Now I don't expect many Pokemon battles to actually be in this game. Togepi, hey, interesting. I like the battle pose. All right, time to fight, tackle. 
bang. Cop some of that. Oh, ouch. Yeah, 73 HP for a level 5 Oshawa? Wild. Oh, Togepi's running in. That's, inter that's interesting. So now they're actually hitting each other. That's cool. Why'd they start so far apart then? Bang. Cop some of that. Battle decided. Moves, items. Use them well, and the world will be open up to you. Oofed. And a new move. Level 6. Bang. That's always good fun to have your Pokemon do battle, don't you think? As they gain experience through battle, they'll learn more moves and grow even stronger. Not mine, though. Mine's been level 5 for 15 years. Uh, if you want to change the moves they can use in battle, open your satchel, choose the Pokemon you want, and select the Change Moves option. Interesting. But so few people here have their own Pokemon. If only more knew how to use Pokeballs. At any rate, let me help our two battlers recover from their little exercise. Okay. This is interesting already. And to you, my sky-fallen friend, I present some potions in thanks. Nice. 60 HP for a fucking potion. Jesus Christ. I'll be hoping that you're successful on that uh, trial of yours. More Galaxy Team members means more customers for yours truly, after all. That's really something. Not only can you catch Pokemon, you can lead them in battle. You just fucking got here. Now, to the Obsidian Fieldlands. When you're leaving Jubilife Village, make sure you choose a destination from your map and tell Rez, the guardsman, where you're going. That way someone can come to your aid if you're knocked out by a Pokemon and you don't, you know, waste away and die out in the middle of a field. Anyway, your trial begins just a short way past that front gate. Lovely. Love the sound of that. Very excited. Depart for the Obsidian Field Lands from Jubilife Village's front gate. Hey, Ress. I'm uh, heading out. You're Liam, correct? I was informed you'd be passing through by the uh, conversation you had three seconds ago. Your trial will take pl place outside the safety of the village. Please take care to come back alive. Here we go. Missions, requests... Depart the Obsidian Field Lands from Jubilife's front gate. You wish to go to the Field Lands camp. Okay, so we don't even walk out. That's a bit of a shame. I, I really wish that we would have just run from that gate and gone there, you know? But no, they're going to take us to a camp and then we head there. It's a little bit disappointing. A little bit disappointing, but okay. This is our base camp. The last safe haven before you reach the wilds. For your trial, you must catch three species of Pokemon. Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. You ready to get started? Oh! Professor! Something wrong? Uh... Well... <laughs> you see, um... Captain Celine got hold of me after you left. She impressed upon me that I bear full responsibility for whatever happens to... Our sudden guest, um, that's our inspiring captain, but what help exactly can you offer out here, Professor? To be honest, my dear girl, <laughs> don't intend to lift a finger. Liam's talents are the real deal. He'll pass with flying colours. You'll see. Ah, so the responsibility for him still lies, in fact, with me, then. Well, I'm sure Liam's going to be fine. Let's... Start. Okay. This is cool, I guess. So, back down there, I, I suppose, is where the camp is. Catch a Bidoof. First Pokemon species. Let's have a look up here. Can't see much. Are you sure you know where you're going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just give me a sec, alright? 
Need to switch up your Pokemon or buy items? Come on, buy. Leventon. All right, let's just let's just go. Let's just go. <gasps> Again with the mouth, man. This is Aspiration Hill. The species of Pokemon you're meant to catch all live here. Look, I'll be honest. Graphics could absolutely improve. That grass, really not up to scratch. But hey. Hopefully they learn for future games, yeah? That's the hope. The key is to aim carefully, not that you seem to need my advice. I'm just sharing what I know. Hold down ZL. That's this one. To focus. This technique comes to be very useful when aiming Pokeballs at a target or when dodging Pokemon's attacks. Okay, so we've got to focus. Badoof has a mellow disposition. That means it tends not to run from people, so this will be easy. Yeah, thanks. Appreciate it. Oh, and she just fucking takes off. Okay. No, I don't want to do that. Okay, so you aim like that. Hold the focus. Aim. Okay, so then if I let go of that, I can I can go around, and then I put it back on, and it locks me on. Okay. And then I throw. Bang. Catching brother. First one down. You caught a Bidoof. Well done. On to the next one. Okay. Catch a Starly. Sprinty Sprinterisons. It's over here. Oh, that's a fancy looking thing. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got to stay in a straight line. I get it. I get it. Where'd it go? Little birdie. Skittish little things that will run if startled. Ah! But you should be able to get close to them if you crouch. It'll be hard on a spot. Get in that fucking grass. Get down low. Oh, that girl's pretty. Nice long hair. Press the B button to crouch and make it harder for wild Pokemon to notice you. Press the same button again to rise. Yeah, we've been, we've been crouching. We've been crouching. We know what we're doing. And in the background, that that's a cool little detail. That's still... I like that. Okay. So we're facing away from Mount Coronet right now, then. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, so we want to get down low. So the little sneaky, sneaky black marks around the edge come up. Okay, no, we're too far away at the moment. Oh shit, 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 fucked up, yikes, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, let's go around, eh, go around, sneak up on the little guy. There we go. So you, it looks like you've got to probably hold down aim first and then focus. Bang, done. Two down. Oh, yes. On to the next one. Bang, and she's off. Time to catch a shinx. I forgot, um, something I want to teach you since you're still new to this. Here's the proper way to throw your partner's Pokeball. As Captain Silene tells us, have an item at the ready, but want to send out a Pokemon? Press X. Have a Pokemon at the ready, but want to throw an item? Press X. So basically, if you want to do anything, but then want to do anything else, press X. Captain's a real expert. Try throwing your Pokemon's ball at rocks or trees like this one to have it investigate. If your Pokemon finds any berries or other items, it'll bring it to you. Now it's time for your partners to shine. We've reached your final hurdle. 
catching a Shinx. Okay, so we want to aim at the tree. Nope. Wrong button. They just said press X. Check it out, Oshawa. What, what you got for me? Awesome. That's cool. Can't believe I wasted a Pokeball on that, though. Jesus. <laughs> okay, back to the Pokeballs. We might have to actually battle this one, so... There! That's Shinx. Duh! I do love me some Shinx. Aggressive disposition. Could you already tell? Ah, yeah, more or less. Not at all. I thought you might. I can never tell until I focus on a Pokemon carefully. But you're a legend, so, you know. Once aggressive, Pokemon get irate. They'll knock aside any ball you throw at them. When you use the ZL button to focus on a Pokemon, you can see how easy it may be to catch. Okay. The more arrows you see pointing up, the easier it will be to catch. Okay, cool. That's interesting. An X icon will appear if it has picked a fight. Okay. Cool. Key detail there. You've got to battle them. Yeah, I got a few. No doubt you'll hold your own. Yeah, I did just fuck up that Togepi before, didn't I? Simply throw a Pokeball that contains one of your own. I have an item ready to throw, not a Pokemon. Press the X button. Okay, so X to, to swap around. So we want to... Uh-oh. He's seen us. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get... Get back. Bully Shinx. Yikes. Alright, let's throw. Bang. It looks happy. It looks like keen to play. Whoa, that was quick. Okay. Aqua Jet, please. Get your own quick one in. Bang. It didn't say not effective. So, maybe it doesn't do that in this game, because that shouldn't have been very effective. Which, it looked like it wasn't, but, you know. Yeah, Shinx is just fucking around. Oh, we did not catch it. No, no, don't knock this Shinx out. Catch it. Uh, okay, yeah. We went and straight up just, like, murdered that Shinx. So, another one. Oops. Missed. Alright. We won't stuff up this time, will we? I'm learning, guys, okay? Well, this one's level 4. The other one was level 2. I'd much rather have this one. Okay. Items? No, wait. Can we do it... If I press X? Yeah. What if I... No. Oh, we can move around. I'll just go items. I think this is how we do it, I guess. Use. Surely there's a quicker way to do that. Like, could I aim and throw at it again? It's no good. Shinx grew enraged. Wow. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. We're in a bit of trouble here. No! I can't believe that just happened. This is hard. Okay. I get it now. Alright, can I aim? Do you want to throw a Pokeball? Yes. Man, does Oshawa not get the experience? Or do we even not... Do we not get any at all? That's probably my cat. Yeah, we're going to get this Pokedex done in, in no time at all. How good is this? Still curious as to how you fell out of the sky, but uh, for now, we'll just, you know, head back.
Oh, I said you'd pass the trial of flying colours, and it seems you went and did exactly that. Congratulations. You've taken your first step towards seeking out every Pokemon. This calls for a commemorative photograph. That's a nifty looking camera, my friend. With skills like yours, I suppose this was a foregone conclusion. Now then, we'd best report to Captain Selene. Time to head back to Jubilife Village, eh? Yes. Back we go. In time, you'll be able to send Pokemon you've caught to live in the village pastures. You can bring up to six Pokemon with you into the field, in theory, though we've never had anyone skilled enough to do so. Come now, you two, let's not dilly dally. Captain Selena awaits our report at headquarters. I bet Captain Selene will be very pleased. It's probably Selene, isn't it? Not Selene. Alright. Oops. I keep pressing B to sprint, because that's often sprint, but I should know that it's just L down. Hold on. Beauregard! That's a cool name. Hey Belregard, how you doing? Commander Carmados, fantastically strong. Rumor has it he once sent a Pokemon flying with one of those sumo throws he's so proud of. That's fucking harsh. He just sumo threw a Pokemon? Can you imagine? If I just picked up my dog and just went... And just chucked him? It's a bit wild, isn't it? Hey, Silene, I like... I did it. Oh, hey, I thought that was a mirror. What's in there? Oh, that's cool. Alright, lots of exploring to do in here, it looks like. Seems we won't have to leave you to die after all. Congratulations. You've passed your trial. You can hold on to that satchel. I must admit, you've impressed me. I set a high hurdle to judge whether a stranger like yourself could be worthy, but you cleared it. This is yours. The official uniform of the Survey Corps. Take it. Wear it. Never take it off. Sandals. You changed in the room you used last night. Then you to report at once to the third floor. Present yourself in uniform to our commander. This is your first official order from your captain. Use the mirror in your quarters to change into your new Survey Corps uniform and Survey Corps sandals. Alright, we'll head out. See you later, Akari. Gotta go get changed. Back in a sec. I wish there wasn't a loading screen there. I wish the door just opened and uh, you ran out. It's a little, little detail. I wish they weren't separate areas, I just wish that, um, yeah, you were there. Change outfit. Do you want to change your outfit? Yeah, of course. Time to put on your Survey Corps uniform and your Survey Corps sandals. Alright. Survey Corps, put on. I do look sick. Survey Corps sandals, put on. Finish changing. Oops. Yes. It's a cool uniform. I do like it. I do like it. It's a bit used, though. Could use a wash. Ah! Back so soon. Look how well our Survey Corps uniform suits you. It's almost as if the captain had tailored just for you. And other 15-year-olds that all seem to be the same size. I see you've changed. Regarding your accommodations, you may continue to use the room you slept in last night. You may wear this as well. It's a hat. Protect from the sun, that sort of thing. Very pleased about the hat. Indeed. Now, present yourself to the commander. Okay. Report to Commander Kamado in his office on the third floor of Galaxy Hall. So this is the second floor. 
Lots of rooms, my god. Hello, sir. Hmm. His color scheme looks very Giratina Platinum-like. I have been waiting for you. I am Kamado, commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. Um, so you are Liam. Yes, sir. Um, I've been briefed on your situation, including how you fell from the rift in the sky. Now then, let's see what you're made of. Face me in combat. Try to throw him. I'm absolutely going to try to throw him. I don't want to charge at him. He'll just use me against him. You know, reverse it, that sort of thing. Hmm. You've got some fight in you, young man. Your sumo needs work, but I do see some potential. <laughs> this is wild. Don't expect a warm welcome from everyone. Naturally, some will be slow to trust an outsider who literally fell right out of the blue. The superstitious among us might see your arrival as a portent of disaster. But you pass the trial that was put to you. No matter how odd you may seem, you're part of the Jubilife village now. Dedicate yourself to the work of the Galaxy Expedition team and complete the Pokedex. But I warn you, Liam. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. Keep your wits about you as you work. Yes, sir. The Galaxy Team's Entry Trial. Complete. So the Commander has also accepted you. But understand this. You begin as a no-star recruit among our ranks. In other words, you have no rank at all. Perform well as a member of the Survey Corps, and you'll move up through the ranks. Indeed! You see, the more you add to the Pokedex, the higher your rank will become. And working on the Pokedex will also, of course, bring you closer toward that goal of yours to seek out every last Pokémon. Here. You will need this. Recipe for crafting Pokéballs. One Apricorn, one Tumblestone. And uh, here's 3,000 bucks, you know. You gotta buy stuff. Thank you very much. Akari. You are an expert at crafting yourself. Teach on your recruit, recruit what he needs to know. Of course, Captain Silene. Of course. Now, as the experienced craft person here, let me explain a bit to start with. Crafting means making items with your own two hands. You can buy some items at the general store, but self-sufficiency is worth striving for. You can even make our most valuable tools. Pokeballs, think where we'd be if we couldn't do that. Let's head to the craft works. Mission, the basics of crafting. Uh, look, we're going to leave it there, because that is about an hour, I think, of gameplay. So, leave it there after that first mission, I think, is a good spot. I hope you enjoyed this first hour of uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus. Um, if you want to see more, please let me know. Uh, leave a like, hit subscribe, go and check me out on Twitch, LiamLive23, that's where this was recorded, uh, and I'm going to be streaming this more, I stream some other games as well, come along, and I hope you enjoyed, I will see you next time, Bye bye